Canada's best-known coffee chain is also hoping to become the country's best-known export. Tim Hortons continues its push into the United States, but are Americans ready for Canadian coffee? Christian Yeo joins us live from Toronto at the Stock Exchange with all the details. Christian. Well, Michelle, I task you to find a single Canadian who hasn't heard of Tim Horton or the famous coffee chain that he founded. It's as big here as McDonald's is in the US. And border cities like Buffalo are now seeing what you might call a Canadian invasion. The Daily Grind. It wouldn't be the same without that cup of freshly ground roast. Coffee is big business here, with countless companies, mostly from the US, vying for the Canadian dollar. But consumers here are loyal. Tim Hortons, a coffee and donuts chain started by Canada's best-known hockey player, reigns supreme. The relationship with consumers in Canada is very nostalgic and cultural. A lot of Canadians attach it to being just as Canadian as the, the maple leaf, the beaver, and hockey. The company boasts one of the best penetration rates in Canada, with almost 3,500 branches across the country. And their ambitions extend beyond home territory. The U.S. is too attractive a marketplace to ignore. The U.S. is so big uh, that Tim Hortons could equal its Canadian footprint in the U.S. and it would still be a drop in the bucket. But the pace of expansion is sluggish. Tim Hortons opened 98 restaurants in the U.S. last year and are hoping to add another 90 or so in 2013. That's well below their expansion rate in Canada. They've also closed some of their U.S. stores already. So does Tim Hortons understand the American market and does America understand Tim's? I remember three years ago going through Columbus and seeing it there, so their path westward is just the same as the American. I think Starbucks is number one right now, but they seem to be going after a different demographic because the coffee is cheaper for the most part, Tim Hortons. It's America, it's a melting pot. There's always room for one more, you know, and a competition only breeds better success. Well, there's plenty of competition in the U.S., and uh, Tim Hortons faces a challenge, of course, here in Canada, it can lean on consumer patriotism, but in the US, people don't really know who Tim Horton is. So it's just another coffee chain, and uh, America's not short of those already. Well, Christian, you mentioned the slow expansion. Are they just being cautious when they're moving to the US, or is this a reflection on the overall business? How's it performing overall? Well, same store sales are not doing particularly well. They're not meeting expectations. They didn't at the end of last year, and they're not expected to at the beginning of this year, the company is blaming uh, increased competition and the adverse weather as a sweetener for shareholders. The company has uh, raised the quarterly dividend by 23%. And there's uh, room for optimism on the horizon in the form of a management reshuffle. They should appoint a new CEO by early summer. And that appointment should hopefully bring with it some uh, renewed energy, direction and potentially growth. And that's important when we're looking to move to other countries. Well, Christian, I'm a big coffee drinker, so I look forward to sampling some of their brew here in the U.S. Thanks so much. Christian Yo, live for us in Toronto.